Just showing you my basic face outline. No, it's not basic anymore. It's very detailed. I'm gonna zoom here. So I went ahead and skipped ahead quite a bit. This is what I got so far. If I turn off the original image, just got the top part of the face and the hair section. And you'll see working with layers and the little strands right here on the hair, a lot of that will be covered up from an, another hair section from the original. It's a little ponytail here, so it'll it'll work itself out. But I did get the eyeball with the white of the eye. I got that on the same mesh as the face, so it happened to work out that way. Sometimes it don't, but you just have to just go with just work with what you got. As you can see here, this is what I'm working with. The little eye section came in nice. Eyebrow, not really, it's just a just a dark tone un, under the actual hairs. And I put hair strands in there with the pen tool. So it's coming out nice so far. And as I progress, I'll just pop in another video to show you what I got. I haven't added this bottom lip in on the on the mesh yet, but I'll I'll get there in due time. But so far, went further down with the face, got the nose in, got the hair pieces. And I'm gonna turn the original photo off, and got a somewhat of a background. Not really playing with that yet. I just wanted to put something there so I could see what I'm basically where I will be so just coming along started playing with the other parts of the hair because I kind of the face got to a point with it and I was just like ah so I went to another section just worked on the piece of the hair over here and this section and did basic ponytail but it's, I got, um, let me click on, see I haven't worked this bottom lip part in the mesh yet, but I'll do that after I see what the top lip looks like, and I'll decide if I want to create the, the lips on a separate mesh and just blend them in to this mesh, but um, like I said, blending is a key. And I did find out something from a uh, from a friend on D DeviantArt, Dome Domi SM. Uh, she told me that vectors can have blurs and effects as long as they're created in the in the program. Um, uh, they they're still considered vectors if you use blurs. I didn't know that, so. I'm correcting myself. I'm wrong sometimes. And uh, as long as you use a program like Illustrator, sorry about that. As long as you use a program like Illustrator, it's allowed in the vector community. So just something for you to know and a correction on something I said. But I might still won't be using blurs because I know they do pixelate your image. Because if you zoom in after using a blur, you will see the pixels on your work. And it's not something I'm going for. So, But if you guys see feel the need to use it, may, maybe when you first starting, you will, you will have to use blurs to cover up something. I mean, go for it. It's allowed. So I can't knock it. But uh, but this is coming along, and everything haven't worked in the the actual iris of the color part of the eye yet. So I'll probably be working on that after I finish off the at least the top lip part that I'm working on now. But just dropping in to give you a quick peek. 
probably be coming back later. Might, don't know. I'm just making this. There's no no plan to it. I just want to show you my progression as I work on the photo. All right. I'll let you.